All right, hello. Hello, hello. We are live. I have this going in two different spots here, so you'll see me going back and forth a little bit. Hello, I'm Rachel Detroit. I am a life coach. Um, I help people change their lifestyle, right? So it's these little lifestyle changes that are sustainable. So we don't uproot everything at once. Little by little, lifestyle changes. And when we talk about lifestyle, we're talking about the things that you do on a daily basis, sleep, substance intake, maybe you substance intake on a daily basis, maybe you don't, right? But sleep, substance intake, social connection, stress management, physical movement, and nutrition. And these are founded off lifestyle medicine. So, all right, let's get down to business here. Um, we're gonna make some non-traditional, unconventional, unconventional sushi rolls. So it's not real sushi. It's not like Japanese sushi. I'm. I'm not saying that it, at all. Um, it's not Asian, really. There's nothing Asian about it, really, other than these. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some sushi rolls, some burrito rolls. Um, let's get going. I'll tell you what ingredients I have. I don't have any rice. I don't have any rice. I'm not using rice. I don't like rice. It makes me feel sick. So I don't use rice. You could use rice. Why not? If you like it. So I'll tell you what I have. I've got figs, and we're gonna make a bunch of different varieties here, non-conventional, but I have figs, and I soaked these figs. Um, let me open up the chat here so I can see. We got some stuff in the chat, hi. All right, so I soaked these figs, and then I sliced them up. I'll show them here. So these are organic, um, I think they're called Turkish figs. So I sliced them up. Hi, Chef Julia. My Japanese friend watching me make non-Japanese sushi. <laughs> I have quinoa, so instead of rice, I'm gonna use quinoa, and I do wanna say this is not like a high protein meal either, right, it's not high protein. Um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you that, but just so you know, it's not like, it's just, it's like a delicious snack is what I would look at it. Maybe you could make it like a sushi burrito sandwich. All right, here are my beans. So this might be silly in here, but I'm gonna show you what I have. I have refried beans, great northern beans, and then I have tofu, which is soybeans, right? So I got that going on here. All right, I'm kind of taking a while to get through all these ingredients here. Then I have green beans, carrots, sliced carrots, oops, <laughs> whoops, mushrooms, and then bell peppers, yellow, red. And then in this one, I have red onions, green onions, and these are my green onions. I made a reel on this the other day about how you can grow your own green onions. I've been doing this. I just, you just put them in water, change the water every couple of days, and then green onions keep growing. It's actually phenomenal. So I got green onions, I got um, cilantro, I have avocado, kale, and then purple cabbage. All right, let's see, we got some stuff in the chat. <laughs> let's see. Julia says, it's fine. I call them nori rolls because sushi means vinegared rice. Oh, so here we go. We're making nori rolls. No rice in these at all. None. All right, here we go. So I'm going to set up a few different ones. So the way that I do it, again, I'm not professionally trained in this or anything. I just taught myself, and this is the way that works for me, and this is how I do it. So I have a bowl of water here. And I use it to seal up the wraps. So I'm going to set out a few of these wraps because I'm going to make a couple different ones all at the same time. So I'm going to set them down. Let's go. Well, my cutting board only fits three. I could get wild and try to squeeze, but let's, let's be regular, I guess. Let's see what we got in the chat. All right, cool. All right, so... The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two different ones, but the first one I'm gonna do is quinoa and then a variety of vegetables and some tofu. So I'm gonna do, I had some comments on my YouTube channel um, that 
kind of scolded me a little, not scolded me, listen to me, I'm so dramatic. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Thanks for watching. That, um, about doing things a little bit more free flowing. And so, you know, and my response to that is like, that makes sense. Like, it's kind of too free flowing. Okay, so I have some quinoa. I'm going to put some tofu. And then I started it, you know, of course, because that's what the, the brain wants us to do is immediately think about like how we are wrong and how we're terrible. I'm like, man, you're too free flowing, Rachel. You just, <laughs> you should have the recipe in front of you and you should be following it root word for, and I understand where the person was coming from. Um, and then I was like, no, I was like your style, who you are, your authenticity is like, you play in the kitchen. You have fun. You, and I'm not saying the other way isn't fun. What I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with doing things differently, right? So I have quinoa, I have a couple, I just sliced the tofu. I did not even um, press it. I did not do that. All right, so I have some tofu. I'm gonna put some mushrooms. Do, do, do. And I don't have any, any measurements for any of this stuff. Okay, and I even have some green beans. I was debating if I want to cut these green beans in half, and I didn't, but I'm going to do it now. Let's see. Okay, that's kind of weird, but either way, we'll go with it. So I got some green beans. This is just a fun way to eat vegetables. If you're having a New Year's Eve party, maybe you will make these. I'll put some avocado in here. Maybe you'll make these for your friends. Um... Or maybe you'll do it with your friends. I'm going to put some purple onions. No, they're not called purple onions. They're called red onions, but it looks purple. Just like something fun to do. Let's see. Hi, Trisha. So we got some stuff in the chat here. I love that you're doing this because seaweed is so good for you. And so are all the veggies. Yeah, you're right. I love it. <laughs> ignore them. Right. I will ignore these people in the comments. I did understand what they meant, though. Like, oh, perhaps they're just looking for... Um, but there are so many people who have, like, hummus recipes online, other than me. <laughs> Not the only one. All right. So here's my first one. It's full of vegetables. I'm going to put some kale in here. A little bit of cilantro. And like I said, it's not like you're not going to hit all your food groups with um, eating one of these, right? It's You could. And we'll do some like heftier, um, heftier ones too, like burrito type. All right, so I have my sushi, my not sushi, my nori roll set right here. And then I'm going to start, so I grab these two corners. And then I use these fingers and I kind of tuck it and just keep it all together. And then I'll tuck it here. And I'll just keep tucking and pulling. I was on a really big kick with these for a little bit and I was putting, um, what was I putting in there? A lot of kimchi and I was putting sauerkraut. I just kind of got weird with it. Right, and I'll dip my fingers in the water and I'll kind of like kind of like an envelope moisten that up and then I'll keep rolling and I'll do my best to keep tucking so it's like roll and tuck roll and tuck roll and tuck hi miss Ir iris irises irises Hello. All right. So here's the first one. I'm going to take some more water and really seal that. And then um, we'll cut into them towards the end. But this is the first one. My first little cutie over here. Got this. I'm going live on Instagram too. So if, you, if you're watching my Facebook or if you're on my um, YouTube, Give me a follow on Instagram. There's nobody watching on Instagram, but I'm still going to do it. You always got to shoot your shot, right? You always got to put your best foot forward. All right, I'm going to be weird on this next one. Um, you know, let's keep being, let's let's keep it normal for a second more. 
All right, I'm gonna do some more quinoa. I was gonna go for the refried beans, but not yet. I'm gonna do some more quinoa. If you're just joining, um, the things that I have over here, we have quinoa, figs, dried figs, tofu, sliced tofu, great northern beans, refried beans, green beans, carrots, mushrooms, peppers, cabbage, kale, avocado, green onions, cilantro, red onions, all types of stuff. Nice rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Instagram. All right. So I got my quinoa right there. I'm going to put some of these dried figs. They give a beautiful, delicious crunch. These figs do. Um, and, and the way I soaked them in water for a little bit, and then I sliced them up. And when you bite into one of these figs, oh man, in your sushi, mm, you just can't be, you just can't beat it. Or not sushi, in your nori roll. Yeah, because it's it's definitely far from any anything that you could probably ever find in a store or at a restaurant. All right, so I got my figs. We're gonna keep with the sweet flavors. So I'm gonna put some carrots in there. Oops, kind of bring out that sweetness. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit of avocado with the fats. Oops. And really with this, I would invite you, I would encourage you to start playing in the kitchen, start having fun. It's um, all of all of these combinations overall, and you know me, I always love my greens. Um, they're all, they're gonna taste pretty good together. It's just an abundance of veggies. And, and so a lot of folks, they're afraid to play around in the kitchen. They're afraid to explore. They're afraid to um, try different things because maybe they won't be good at it. Maybe it won't taste very good. Maybe whatever the case may be. But the thing is, is like, keep trying, keep doing things. You don't know until you do. Um, and life is just really, you know, it's, it's really precious. You don't have a, all this time. We think just when I was a kid, I thought I had all this time and we, time is really, it's of the essence. You just never know. And so we waste time. I'm putting a, kind of a lot of onions in this one. We waste a lot of time worrying about the what ifs and, and whens and, you know, instead of just shooting our shot and giving it a, it a try. So those of you who are afraid to get into the kitchen because maybe you won't be very good at it or um, you never know until you try. And I would really encourage you to start with really basic things. Beans, um, you know, getting with plant-based. If you're wanting to get into plant-based, it's really healing. People find a lot of healing with plant-based foods. And so, you know, start small, start buying rice cakes, buy cans of refried beans, put them on your rice cakes with cilantro and salsa, um, get Ezekiel bread and make sandwiches. Like, you know, um, start small. You don't have to, to get buck wild. Let's see. We got some stuff in the chats here. Hey, Amber, we got Janice. Let's see. Janice says, I'm surprised that you are not also using rice paper. What would the rice paper be for just to do like additional rice wraps? Is that what you mean? All right, I'm gonna get rolling on this next one here. Kind of got sloppy with the ingredients on the inside. Let's see, so I'm gonna take my two edges. Okay, let's see, let me move some of this out of the way so you guys can see it better for our second roll. Okay, cool. So I'm going to grab these two edges here, these two corners, and I'm going to use these fingers to press them, the rest of the ingredients in. So I'm going to tuck and pull. Then I'll use my hands to tuck and tuck and tuck. Uh-oh, all these fell out, so I'll just... Put them back in. These wraps are super awesome. You could fill them up. You could take them to work. You could, especially like folks who don't want to eat a whole bunch of bread or carbs or whatever the case may be. Um, and you could put anything in these, really. Whatever you want. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get, I'm gonna tuck some more. I'm going to dip my fingers. I have water over here. 
to seal this off. So this is just really fun for me. I love, you know, I was, I love doing this. I love um, getting on the camera. I love teaching people. I love teaching people how to cook. I love food. I love eating. <laughs> I love being healthy. I have a love for cooking. All right, this one's a little bit rowdy. Let me tuck this all in here. You know, this one got rowdy on the end, but that's okay. Here's number two. Wild, a little bit wild. It'll be fine, just like the end ones will be a little bit crazy. But the middle ones will look pretty good. All right, let me clear out my space. Get ready for the next one. So the next one, let's go ahead and do a burrito type. Um, I'm gonna set these actually in a plate because I was gonna cut them as I was going to cut them as I go, but I'm just going to cut them at the end. The seal is kind of coming up here, so I'm going to kind of dampen it. And then when I set it down on the plate, I'm going to make sure to put it seal side down so it can stick better. Same with this one. All right, so we got two down. Let's see what we got going on in the chat. Hey, Instagram. <laughs> I keep forgetting Instagram. Facebook is like, is my, my safe space and Instagram... If you don't follow me on Instagram, my safe friends, join me, join me there. <laughs> join me there. I need some love there. All right, rice paper at the sushi restaurant I work at is our gluten-free option. Okay, cool. We got someone who said, <laughs> wow, that's a wicked knife that you have. My sister got it for me for Christmas um, last year, and it really is a wicked knife. It's like the best knife in the world. <laughs> in the world. Let's see. Rice paper is just universal. You are um, you are proving that it is not necessary though. Yeah, cool. I love all the comments in the chat. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for chatting. All right, so I got, let's get the next one going. Let's get, um, let's get a little bit weird here with some, with some um, refried beans. <laughs> I, I love refried beans, so if you follow my, channel or my anything. I just use refried beans all the time. I just love them. All right, so I'm gonna, this one's gonna be a big refried bean burrito. I eat refried beans. And before I did this, that's what I had for dinner. I had refried beans. I had the, the other half of the can of this. Cause they come in a can. And if you go to Trader Joe's, you can get fat-free refried beans for $1.29 and they're organic. <laughs> and maybe a dollar 19 and then you just put it on a rice cake and then put some hot sauce and whatever salad veggies and tastiness you want it's just really good really easy put it on ezekiel bread two slices of ezekiel bread that's how i vibe you know like i really love um i love making it easy for myself when it comes to cooking other things, not so much. It's like, oh, always making it tough, Rach. All right, so now I'm going to do some cilantro. So I have refried beans. I have some cilantro. I'm going to do avocados. Do, do, do. I cut a ton of vegetables here. I'm going to have so much pre-cut vegetables, which is like never really a problem. <laughs> it's kind of a blessing. One of my favorite lines are, treat it as an opportunity rather than a problem. I love green onions, so I'm loading this up with green onions. Let's do some purple cabbage, so then it has some color. I was kind of stingy with the purple cabbage. I've been really enjoying it in my smoothies. Um, and it just makes it so purple. <laughs> it makes it so pretty. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it here. So I need it. I'm going to throw mushrooms in here. I'm gonna throw, this one I'm making pretty big. Let's see if you guys can see it. You guys can see it pretty good. I got some other stuff in the chat. I never thought to use refried beans in sushi rolls. Genius, thanks. I'll put refried beans on anything. I love them. Let's see what we got. I literally would be open to any ingredients as long as there's avocado. Yes, yes, me too. Don't forget the avocado. All right, I'm gonna put some peppers in here. 
This one's going to be pretty big. Mm, do we want carrots in here? I did not pre-plan this. I did not pre-plan it. I'm going to just do more peppers. This one's so big and so beautiful. Let's do some purple onions. Um, the cool part is going to be when we cut into these and I show you guys the inside and you see this wonderful rainbow. All right, so this one's going to be bigger because there's a lot more shenanigans in here. I did not put any quinoa in it though. My glasses are falling. There they go. All right, let's wrap this guy up. So I got my two corners. And I'm gonna press with my middle fingers or whatever the whatever fingers <laughs> the inside and you want it to be pretty even so make sure that your the way you spread your ingredients is pretty even and then just keep tucking tucking and rolling and pressing I would love to take a sushi rolling class like an in-person and see what the real deal is. I think I just looked this up on YouTube one day and I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> I can do this. All right, awesome. Okay, let me get my water for the edges. I forgot to do that. Mm. I'm gonna have so much deliciousness to eat tomorrow. All right, here's another one. Oops, there's like... Oh, we got some comments over here on Instagram. Hi, Andrea. Let's see, wish I was there eating sushi with you. Did you get my comments now? I don't see them. Hi, cutie, I want to eat that sushi too. <laughs> it's my best friend. Um, I have sushi rolling mat that I've never used once. If you want to try it out. <laughs> Thanks. No, I don't think I need one, but maybe we could have a, a a discussion about it. I don't know. All right, so there we go. My mom said something over here. Oh, maybe I should play it cool and stop saying my mom, but she's just in the chat. She says, you should try hummus and tabbouleh wraps. It's the Lebanese sushi. Yeah. I don't think you need a sushi class. You are a pro. Thank you. Cool. All right, so we got three different burritos. This, this package came with... 10 and I was gonna get 20 but I did 20 last time I got 20 last time I bought not 20 50 you can either buy 10 or you could buy a thing of 50 and I was gonna buy 50 and then I was like oh, that's just that's such a big commitment last time I did it it was just a big commitment I felt like oh I gotta eat these before they get stale let's see <laughs> your rolls are pretty I love Nina's Lebanese sushi idea yeah yeah it's cute all right, let's get this next one going. So another thing that I had put is um, just regular beans. I just wanted to show you guys like just different varieties, right? So I say unconventional. And the reason I say this is because I want you to be open to exploring different ingredients and different possibilities. There are no rules. They're, they're the only rules in life, the only rules, listen, mom, close your ears. <laughs> The only rules, the only rules that we have are the ones that we create. Like, obviously, there's like real world stuff. You have to like follow directions at work, blah, 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 whatever, follow the law. But in terms of your like personal life, cooking, eating, there are no rules, right? So, so get weird. Do you guys already think I'm weird? Just wait. Just wait till you see. The... I'm just kidding. But, you know, allow yourself to play. It's super fun to play in the kitchen, um, especially if you have kids too. You know, if you have kids, um, I was a teacher, a math teacher for eight years. And if you, kids are very influenced by how you behave. And if you show them that being in the kitchen is fun, that eating healthy foods are fun, that um, playing with food in a, in like, you know, not playing like throw it at the wall, but like playing with how you prepare food is, is fun and it's, it's accessible and it's achievable. Like then this, the young person will be open to that. But if you are always like, oh, I hate cooking. This is gross. And then that's what your child will be like. So anyways, my point is there are no rules. Play. All right, let's just, we're just going to go whole green beans. This one's going to be real weird. So I have great northern beans. 
And then I have green beans. This one's super peculiar. Okay, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna just roll with it. And then I'm gonna put carrots in here. All right, we got carrots. Let's put some peppers. It's always kind of more full in the middle. Let's go, we gotta do some kale. So I went whole food plant-based. Um, it'll, I think this is the top of the fifth year. So this is year five. No. I think it's the beginning of year five. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it was 2019. It was July of 2019. Um, so whatever. Someone do the math. Uh, and so I, I went whole food plant-based for health. I, not, I didn't go vegan for the animals, although now I absolutely love the animals, but I went for health. So my journey is I was diagnosed with MS five years ago. And I wasn't sure, as probably a lot of people who get a life-altering diagnosis, I had no idea what to do. I was like, wait, what? What, what do I, <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? And so one thing which gave me this feeling of control, with, um, one thing which gave me this feeling of control was to like have control of the food I ate because I felt like I couldn't control anything else. Um, and so, what what started off as kind of like a weird controlling like this is the only thing i could can do ended up being one of my greatest gifts in my love for cooking for teaching folks about healthy food Ooh, this one tore maybe it was torn before because i don't think that it was torn before bummer but my my love for teaching people how to cook healthy foods you know it was just it just became such a wonderful gift for me um and so this isn't, that's another thing that I do. So I'm a life coach and I help people transition into a whole food plant-based diet and to manage their health. This one's wild. This one got crazy. Manage their health through lifestyle changes, through things that we can control through, you know, and especially I love working with folks who have MS because, you know, if I can be a guide, if I can be an example of like, it doesn't mean that your life is over right? It doesn't mean that you don't have a life anymore. It just means that you do life differently now, that life looks different. Let's see. You going to dip them in anything? No, not tonight. Maybe I'll do some tamari. Um, and listen, I'm like, no, uh, but perhaps some tamari and then these burrito ones, some, uh, hot sauce. All right. This one, see, look, it ripped open. And I don't think that the beans did it. I think it was just like it was already ripped. I'm gonna put this one here. Yeah, I love working with folks who have MS because you know it's such a vulnerable, such a vulnerable like position to be in. And, and a lot of folks get diagnosed at a really young age. I was 28 years old. Most folks are diagnosed between the age of 20 and 50. It's very young. All the whole range is young. Let's see, we got some stuff in the class. Um, any of the veggies cooked. None of my veggies are cooked. You could cook them though. Uh, the quinoa was cooked, but overall none are cooked, but you could definitely do that. You could cook it. Let's see. Got another thing in here. I went whole food plant-based for health too. I just dropped six points in my total cholesterol from last year. Heck yes. See, that's awesome. It's like, you know, food is such a tool. Oh no, this one has a hole too. Food is such a wonderful tool for our health and a lot of times food is the reason that our health is impaired and I just remember when I was younger sometimes I would go with friends one of my friends who might still be watching this I would go with friends we would go and we would hit up like several like when I say several I mean like more than three <laughs> sometimes three sometimes just three sometimes just two fast food places in the same the same caboodle right and so um, sometimes help, like our health, you don't realize it. Like I didn't realize I was doing anything that could hurt me, even though I was eating like fast food 
from three different places. And <laughs> I did not think that it was going to hurt me. I really didn't. I just thought like I was living my life and I was partying and I was eating what I wanted to and doing what. And then like the universe has different plans. All right. So this one, I got quinoa. I'm going to do some dried figs. Um, but sometimes the universe has different plans for you, right? So you think that you have, you know, you know what's going on and you, but the universe has different plans and we just have to flow with it. it as you fight against what's coming for you, what the universe is providing for you. So if you have symptoms, if you have, if your body's telling you something, uh, it's a sign, it's like communication. And we can't, if we fight against what our body is telling us, um, it will just continue to get louder, I'm going to put tofu in this one. I'm kind of getting wild with, with, with it. I'm just like, let me put anything in here. Um, but if you fight against, if you ignore what your body is saying to you, the body speaks louder and louder and louder. So if you have some health symptoms, um, I had a therapist once who said, a symptom is a cue for compassion. Right. And that's always stuck within my brain. Um, and, and anytime I have that, instead of being angry, you know, because usually I think, oh, these MS symptoms are popping up. But instead of being angry, it's like a cue for me to give myself compassion, to be more gentle. And of course, like a lot of things are easier said than done. But with practice, that's why, you know, a lot of these things are a practice. Life is, is a practice. And the more that you do it, the more that you practice um, the practices, the better that you get. I just love the colors of the green and the purple. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Karan, I don't know if you're in here on the Instagram, but if you are, hey, it's one of my former students from when I was a math teacher. All right, let's put some avocado in here. So yeah, you know, it's like, um, another thing too, it's like, it's all about our perspective. How are we looking at things, you know, and more and more I continue, I'm going to put green beans in here. I'm just going to do it up more and more. I continue to just, instead of being like angry about things or, or wanting to change, right? So we can't, can, we can't go backwards, right? I've made a commitment that like no longer... Do I want to rewrite the past? No longer do I want to spend time in the past, just like looking forward and actually asking for more of a change for perspective. I used to really want a change in the past. I used to really want a change in the past. I used to think the more, oops, got quinoa on me. I used to think the more that I thought about the past, the more that I was upset about the past, and the more that it would actually change it, that it would have an effect on these things. But now I ask for change in perspective. Please, universe, for me it's God. Whatever you, whatever you're, you know, I don't even want to tell you guys the kind of God I believe in. It's wild. It's my God is so expansive and wild and big. Um, maybe yours is too. It doesn't matter. This that's not what this is about. But instead of asking for change in the past, asking for change in perspective. All right, so I am gonna wrap this one. Let me dampen my hands up a little bit. Dampen my edge. I'm going to hold these two corners so you guys can see this. Good. All right, I'm going to hold my two corners and I'm just going to, this is full, 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 full. Let me turn this so you guys can, so you guys can get a glimpse of what is going on a little closer. Oops. This is full really full okay so I'm gonna tuck and pull tuck and pull tuck and pull Ooh, this one's feisty so full so awesome I got to get back on my intermittent fasting game I just really lost it I've been just eating like all hours of the all hours all, all waking hours so I won't eat any of this tonight, but I will enjoy it tomorrow. All right, so I got my edges. So let me know, are you gonna get some of these wraps and are you gonna give this a try? Are you gonna wrap some, do you see how easy it is and how 
Like, and it doesn't have to look beautiful. I just do your best. Are you going to give this a shot? Are you going to try it? What would you put in it? Let me know. Cutting into these will be really pretty. All right, so I got five going here. We've been going for about 40 minutes and on here for about 40 minutes now. So let's cut some of these open. Let's take a look. Otherwise, I'll be here all night rolling these sushis. Uh, but I did have the package. It's five, so that's cool. So we'll cut into some of them. We'll look in the middle. Uh, drop in the comments what you would put, what you would add to this. All right, so let's cut up. Let's start with, let's start with the first one we did. Is this the first one? No, it's not the first one. It really doesn't matter which one we start with. Let's start with this one. I wonder whatever could be inside. That's probably dangerous what I just did. Let's see. Chickpea tuna with mayo. Ooh, to put inside of a wrap. That's a good idea. Someone else said, love the quinoa idea. Never thought of that, Rachel. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to slice this. I love the idea of putting chickpea tuna in here. That would be good. All right, so make sure you have a sharp knife. You know, I just got to be real with you guys. The first ones never are really that good, but I'll still eat that. It's not going to be beautiful, though. All right, this one has refried beans. This one's got refried beans inside. And some slices are cuter than the other slices. I kind of want to sharpen my knife here to get this going. These are definitely colorful. Let's see if I can get a little sharp on this knife, a little sharper. They're definitely colorful inside. They're definitely beautiful. All right, we're gonna get, mm, I don't know if this is a smart idea, but I'm gonna do it. Clean that. I always like get nervous that maybe there's gonna be like shards of glass, not glass, of knife. I don't know if that's dramatic. Okay, so that'll be a little bit sharper. There we go. Dry it off so I don't soak all my food. Oh, they're so cute. They definitely don't look like real sushi inside. All right, so I'll show you inside of this one. It's got refried beans, green onions, cabbage. Um, like I said, it's definitely not looking like traditional sushi, which is why this is non-conventional. All right, so we cut that one open. Let's keep going. Let's chop open this most recent one we did, this giant burrito one. I'm just going to cut it in half. Let's just see what we, ooh, it's so pretty. We got that right here. It's got our tofu. It's got, ooh, let's see. We got some tips on how to slice it here. We got another. For even slices, cut your roll in half, then cut each half in half, then cut those in half. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. That makes a lot more sense. So I cut, so just like how we cut tofu. And actually, Chef Julia, you were the one who taught me how to cut tofu properly by cutting in half. Cutting, yep, these are a lot more even. Yeah, big fan. If you don't follow Chef Julia, follow Chef Julia. Check out her page. I am a huge Chef Julia fan. Look how beautiful these are. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, let's go. I'm going to have a wild party over here. Let's cut into... Let's cut into... Just cut into this one. Let's just see what happens. They're so cute. Let's cut that one in half. Aww. I don't know why I just have such a sentimental feeling as I cut these sushi rolls. Each one I'm like, aww. All right, we'll cut that in half again because they're just so cute. And it's fun, you know, like when you create something 
um, it's just fun. Like I created this. I this one I exploded. But that's what we got going on in these ones. They aren't that pretty. But they're so fun. Let's see what else we got going on in the chat here. They look beautiful. I'd eat them. That means a lot coming from you. All right. Awesome. So the main point, the main objective here is to be open-minded in the kitchen. Be open-minded with how you utilize your fresh ingredients. Be open-minded with how you, what you consume. Be open-minded with making mistakes, with making a mess, with involving play in the kitchen, with involving play in your life, right? Because that's the point. Like, why are we here? If you're upset all the time, if you're angry, if you're not having fun, I mean, it's okay not to have fun sometimes. I don't have fun all the time. Sometimes I'm just like, ugh, no fun. But if you're never having fun, what is the point? So, you know, I'm really encouraging play and just trying new things and not being afraid. Like, come on, just play. Let's see, we got, are you coming over tomorrow, Rachel? If so, bring me some. You made me hungry. Thank you, Rachel. You have such positive energy. You're welcome. I'm grateful to be here. I'd probably add some kind of sriracha dip. Mmm. I love hot sauce. I'm a hot sauce freak. I would just dip all this in hot sauce. I just, I actually want to take a dip in my body. I want to swim in hot sauce. <laughs> so here's another little sushi guy. Like I said, you guys, the point of this is to encourage more playfulness in the kitchen, in your life. Oh, this one's really nice. This will be a good one for me to take pictures of. <laughs> this one came out real cute. Oh, and it's so tightly wrapped. Got quinoa all over the place. Like I said, I'm encouraging you to be a bit more open-minded in the kitchen. Be open-minded with how you consume your vegetables. I did not cook anything. Well, the beans, the great northern beans are cooked. You could have bought them in a can, though. I didn't cook. I cooked the quinoa. I didn't cook anything. It's a very, you can put as much labor into cooking as you want. You can put as little labor. You can go whole food plant-based without doing a big, huge recipe every single day. You can go, you don't have to go fully vegan. You don't have to go, well, if you're claiming veganism, then you got to go vegan. But you don't have to go fully plant-based if you don't want to or like if you're not there yet it can be gradual take the time be kind to yourself be generous with your own words to yourself with your own care um yeah that's all i got so i'm rachel i'm a life coach if you know anybody looking for coaching if you think that this would resonate with anybody share my video um and you never know who it could help if you like my content if you like my stuff share it it would help me i would really appreciate it um, I'm a life coach. I live well with MS. I love helping other folks find the same freedom that I found in their life. Um, and I work with all types of people. You don't have to have MS. You don't have to be a certain age. You don't have to... I work with anybody who's willing to uh, dismantle the old version a little bit to create a new one, design a new life. All right, I'm Rachel Detroit. Check out my website, www.racheldetroitcoaching.com. You can go racheldetroitcoaching.com slash work with me or just racheldetroitcoaching.com. Click like, click follow, share. Um, I appreciate the engagement. All right, take good care. I hope everybody has a good night, 45 minutes. We got wild sushi party over here. Bye, love you guys.